Hello everyone and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Rain Code. And yeah, we're about to head into another mystery labyrinth, but this time we got a friend. Well, they're not our friend. They're, they're like a hired assistant who is extorting us. But yeah, it's still an ally. I guess it's really bad. Yeah, I anyway. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like. We're going back to the labyrinth, y'all. And I guess the elephants are Everyone just has an elephant in their mystery, I guess. Uh, this is, uh, Laura, I can explain. It's really, it's, we have to do this. It's not my thing, but yeah. I'm not a weirdo. Oh gosh. Where <laughs> am I? Oh, now the foot is on the other shoe. That's not how you say that. But we have to explain to Halara how the mystery labyrinth works. They were our mentor for this whole chapter. Now, now they're gonna be confused. Um, uh, what should I do? I'll need to explain everything, won't I? Well, I know I know what I would like is if you just you did the whole speed up thing again. That that'd be really cool. We don't have much of a choice now. No point in keeping secrets here. Um, Halara, let me explain. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sometimes games need to just straight up do that. Like, yeah. So, um, the player already knows and this. So that's how this mystery labyrinth involving the nail man killings materialized. I see. So mystery labyrinths are materialization of mysteries themselves, and the truth is encased deep within. How did you grasp that so fast? What on earth? I appear to have underestimated you. Oh. This is an amazing forte. Why, thank you. Well, it's not. It's not even my power, but... I must admit, it's quite a superhuman power. As far as I know, no other ability comes close to this. I don't feel inadequate. It's... It came at a pretty large cost. Who are you? I refuse to think you're just a trainee detective. Um, to be honest, this isn't my ability. Dang, he actually told the truth. Let's go, Coco. Before you continue, tell me, who is that woman beside you? Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is that she's a guide for the mystery labyrinth. That's me! I'm also Master Scary Cute Mentor. On to my next question. What exactly is the relationship between you two? Well, um... You're just gonna ignore me? You mentioned the Nail Man case just now. I had heard the rumors about that around town. Why are you investigating that case? Huh? What are you talking about? We were just investigating the Nail Man case together. The Nail Man? We were pursuing that case together. No, because I was about to say, right? How do you how do you write this chapter, Halara? I'm 99% sure has already cracked the case, but if bringing someone else other than Yuma into the labyrinth makes them lose their memories, that's that's bad. I mean, not all the memories, but just the short term. You don't remember? Oh, brother. There was a young boy who wanted to hire a detective, and you turned him down. I do remember you received a request from a child about some case, and you ended up seeking my help. The cost for hiring me was 5,500,800 yen. I was hoping you might have forgotten that part. You remember the exact amount. Uh, uh, even did the, well, I don't, they, did they take the, the stool into, effe into effect? I, uh, but was I it a chair? I can't remember what the case involved. I do vaguely recall investigating something. My mind is clouded. I don't remember exactly what was being investigated or what was discovered. Could that be? Yeah, it's because of the Mystery Labyrinth. The Mystery Labyrinth is a fortress protecting the truth, so outsiders usually can't reach it. If someone did happen to wander in, their memories of the case would be locked away. Though, if you have a pact with me, you wouldn't be affected. But I guess that part of the pact can't be shared. Hmm. So Shinigami's actually like our guardian angel in here? I mean, she's not an angel, but you know this what I mean. This is the mystery labyrinth's defense mechanism, then. It makes sense for a vault that protects its treasure, the truth, to have a significant level of security. Yep, totally not strange at all. Halara here sure is smart. I just realized she's been calling her Halara. <laughs> Halara? 
Uh, that's not your name. Don't listen to her, her, her Shiniga. Uh. Oh, don't mind her. She gives people random nicknames. I do that too. But it's not quirky. We have a little too much in common. I don't know how to process this. Anyway, since my memories of the case have been taken away, I will provide a supporting role for your investigation. Supporting role? As long as we're in here, I will act as your assistant. Well, that's the same as our original agreement. That means we can't rely on Halara's detective skills to blast through this dungeon. And that's unfortunate, but it's still nice to have an ally. Yeah, it's better than nothing. I mean, you know, once we... Well, she got me punches us a couple of times, right? And we can reconstruct some of those closed rooms. I think Halara will be just, Oh, can Halara use their forte in the labyrinth? I don't know. Hey, Master. Before we head into the mystery labyrinth... Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Let's do that thing. That was, that was like a... That was like a... I... Huh? What thing? I don't want to have someone... Why are you making that face? Ah! Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I am. But I don't want to... Someone's watching us! I... Okay, just does the same animation again. What's the word for that? Like ASMR? I was... Uh... It's a very pretty animation. And it's not nearly as weird now that I know he's a little older than I thought, but... The context here is... You know what, you know what she's doing? You know what Shinigami's doing right now? He's mine. Get away from me. <laughs> she does not want any competition. Don't worry. I, we're literally irreparable. Give me that blade so I can slash the truth in that. Who is going to be the boss? Oh, the guy with the <laughs> megaphone. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, this world is just full of surprises. Yeah, I know. It's, don't judge me, please. I just want to solve the case. I assume that sword is used to cut down enemies interfering with your progress through the mystery labyrinth. You're right. It's a special sword that can interact with things here. <laughs> you just had to like, <laughs> isn't it neat? Like, <laughs> Materialize the solution keys I got during the investigation, too. Yeah, let's. Oh my god. Good thing we're wearing raincoats. I'm just saying, you know, we're in the splash zone. Okay. That was a lot. Here you go. You're the best. Uh, do you have to vomit them out every time? I guess so. I didn't really process that before. What? Should I use a different hole instead? Oh my god! Sorry. Oh. Don't mind her. I sound, I sound like an elderly woman. My word! Do not! What hole is she talking about? I. Anyway. Alright, we're all set. Either way, that's it. I. Now, let's unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Our target is the true culprit who preys on the truth. Yeah, yeah. Let's focus up and stop thinking about. Uh. Anyway. Dude. I'm raring to go. I think things will be a little snappier this time too, because like, you know, I kind of understand like how, well, they could always add new mini games, but yeah, we kind of get what we're doing. I understand that progressing through this mystery labyrinth will allow us to obtain the truth. Oh, sorry, okay. Gotta keep up progressing. But what happens to us if we can't find it? Yeah, that's the sucky part. Laura didn't know this. You're stuck in here forever. We'd be lost, wandering around here forever. But as long as we reach the truth, it doesn't matter how much time we spend here. Oh, I forgot to mention this, but there's a time limit for solving the mystery labyrinth. Shut up. Oh, what? No, is that like a real, real time limit? No. There's a limit to how long you can stay in here. Stick around too long and your soul will leave your body behind. Your soul will wander until it's eventually absorbed by the mystery labyrinth. And you vanish entirely. Oh, that's pretty bad. In other words, you die. <laughs> then what happens to you? Not, not that I care. It's just... Why are you laughing? <laughs> you should have told me this a long time ago. I mean, it doesn't change anything, I guess. But yeah, now there's more at stake. Now oh, relax. Quit whining. A detective is bound to die anyway. Isn't that right, Halara? 
What do you mean by that? It's no different from our usual line of work. A detective's life is always on the line. See? Listen up, Master. We might learn something. Hmm. You're taking this off. You will, Halara. Maybe they think they're just dreaming or something? I mean, I don't know. What can we do about it now? It's not a lot we can focus on other than just the case at hand. And I don't know. Is this a similar layout to the last mystery? Oh, crap. I kind of weird placement. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! What is this? What's this? Whoa! You must stop doing that. They seem to represent the four crime scenes. I assume that solving all four will allow us to progress. Oh, I see. You see? Master, this is your job. So what's first? How about starting with the clock tower since it was the first one you investigated? It also seems the most simple. If the numbers are set chronologically, then the clock tower would be the fourth locked room mystery. Alright, sounds good. This is... <laughs> Why is it twitching like that? God dang, the doll is gigantic! You thought it were small. Are you going to the fourth locked room? Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Can you take me there? Uh, wait, not quite yet. I want to talk to Shinigami. I mean, I don't, but, you know. Ooh, <laughs> what is that face? Are you a lighthouse? What is that? The clock tower crime scene is the fourth locked room. Let's hurry, master. Can't wait. I'll tell you. One second, though. First off. Aren't you going to check the scene? Let's go. Okay. All right. Maybe. You never know, though. They might have little nuggets of, 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 you know, character interaction and stuff. The game gives us the option to talk to them, so it doesn't hurt to try. I do fear it slow down the videos ever so slightly. As we know now, time is of the essence. But... Oh, yeah, I guess we don't have to do the lunchbox thing at all. Or just, you know, just get smacked in the head. The rooms are ready to go. This is an exact replica of the clock tower crime scene. Shinigami, you didn't recreate it with your powers, did you? Unless you punched me so hard I forgot that happened. No, I can only do that when I hit you so hard in the head you almost die. It looks to me like the crime scene materialized in the labyrinth on its own. Well, that's helpful. Seeing that same cutscene four times would suck. <laughs> the fourth locked room is the latest chronologically, correct? That's right. And this is also what got me involved in the Nailman killings. What are the details of the case? Try to tell me as concisely as possible. The crime was a locked room murder inside the storage room of a clock tower. In the middle of the room was a woman's corpse covered in countless nails. Which means that's the corpse. I'm trying to not be mean, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, there were also lots of dolls nailed to the walls. And I assume these are the dolls. Yeah. Wow, you're pretty good at this. It looked just like one of those bizarre crime scenes left behind by that Nailman guy from the urban legend. Hence the Nailman killings. From the look of it, the door was locked from the inside. Yeah, it was locked until the body was discovered. There's only one window, and its shutters were down as well. I see. So the shutters were locked too. Wait, did I just figure it out? Oh my gosh. This is the third floor of the clock tower. It's too high up to jump from here. Hmm. So it really is a locked room mystery. Hey! If this is a locked room, aren't we stuck in here too? So I guess now the trick is to get out of here and that's how we solve each of these puzzles oh no master you're trapped unless you solve this mystery otherwise you'll run out of time and your soul gets snuffed out you better hurry okay uh, hey. <sighs> hey i play i played zero escape i can escape a couple rooms you can do this lord help us what? if it's that complicated though because this is <laughs> that's a thinking man's game I ain't gonna lie those games are hard I love you. I see. So that's how to make the questions appear. I'm surprised you're so calm after seeing that. Well, happened to you, not me. Oh, there's a lot of questions. Whoa. They're mixing it up. Let's go. Okay, where'd the culprit flee from? We can't use Halar's ability here. Okay, so I guess just click. Oh. Oh. My bad. Where did the culprit go after the murder took place here? You can figure it out if you give it some thought. 
No. Show me where. Okay, okay, gotcha. So it's one of the blood splatters? And we have to just click on that. Here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. I got... Tanja, I got the first quest wrong again. I can't... What is up with me? It has to be here. <laughs> God dang it. I didn't think before I click. The culprits must have escaped through the window. And your reasoning? When I arrived at the scene, the window shutters were closed. It was wet underneath the window, but I could tell it was already starting to dry. Which means the window was open not too long ago. It's likely the culprit escaped through the window and closed the shutters on the way out. Is it possible to close the shutters from the outside? If you have a certain... Like, it's, it's all about mechanics, right? Yes. But they need a specific setup to do it. That's what I think the true purpose of these dolls is. It's not, like, it, it's the nails, bro. It, it's always been about the nails. Yes. This style of shutter automatically locks, so if you let go of the shutters at the right height, its momentum pulls it down. And once down, it locks all on its own. In other words, the culprit held up the shutters while moving outside. Once they let go, it automatically locked. In that case, let's try leaving this locked room in the same way. Right. Let's try it. We have to, you know, cushion our fall. Oh. Oh my god. The <laughs> What is up with your head? Is he that peacekeeper? I'm sorry. What? It's a mystery <laughs> phantom. The people covering up the case in the real world are manifested like that here to stop us. It's not even that funny, but that's like a... What the heck? You think the culprit really escaped from here? This high up? Yeah. If you fall, you die. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Oh gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Help! Oh my gosh. No! You ma! Oh! Oh my god, no! Hey, don't drag me down with you. We can't leave a guest behind, Halara! It would be downright unmannerly! Hey, say what you will. Shinigami, she's she's trying to so simple. Oh, new game. Okay, dealing with continuous attacks. What? So we're not in the big arena anymore? That's rad. Press the correct button when you Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Oh, oh, I love this. This is so cool. Okay. Yuma, the mystery labyrinth is a manifestation of a mystery. So solving it will get us out of this, right? I I think so. The culprit wouldn't have fallen out of the window like we did. They would need a tool to get up and down. A tool? You should have found something during the investigation. I was helping you, after all. You must have seen the answer with your own eyes. Try to remember. Oh, I got you. I can't forget that one. That's the one thing I did figure out about this case. I mean, it's also pretty off. I can't, I can't put my... Yeah, I, I'm so distracted by the fit. I, okay, what did the culprit use to escape from the high location? Burnt remains of a rope. Oh, the shutter? Door key. It's not that. No, oh, crap. It. Okay. I completely misunderstood this mini game. Why am I so allergic to reading tutorials? I couldn't tell you, but it is the first option. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. A strange rope. That's not it. it has to be two? No! No! no. Oh, what? oh, I get it. Now, this is the replacement for the mine car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the strange rope. That was the <laughs> holy dope. <no. laughs> That's it. We found the burnt remains of that rope in the incinerator at the church. And we also get that one priest. There's a priest, right? Helper? I don't know. But the culprit had used that rope to escape through the window. Yeah, he had that sketch too, so it's likely a rope ladder. Okay. What traces did the Yeah, yeah, the testimony from the, the guy that likes video games. Shutter structure, no. Let's go the dolls of the, what? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it is that one. Crud. Dog, I need to update my oh. talent. Oh. Hold. Hold. There we go. There we go. Yeah. It's it's a whole process. The nail that was stuck in the doll under the window had some rug marks on it. The culprit must have tied the rope there. That's why those nails have been hammered in below the window. It wouldn't be possible to climb down a rope simply hooked onto a window. Unless you've had special training for it. There's no way an amateur could manage it. That can't be how things went down. Oh my god, please get this one. Please, I need to focus. In that case, it couldn't have been an ordinary rope. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good. It must have been... Hmm... I don't know. What's that? Uh, I can't hear you. What were the ropes remains originally? A rope ladder. If I get this one wrong, I'm out. Don't worry. I'm right here with you. Oh, thank God. Oh, that. No! No! I pressed right on the analog stick! No! Dog, this ain't even a bit anymore. All right, my hands are off the controller. I'm going to select my option carefully. It is. The number, I mean, the letter X. X can be, it's a variable, not, I mean, it's also a letter, F U. I win. Good lord, this is the first child, this is the easy part! Oh my god. Uh. Wait, where's she me? What? Oh yeah, you can fly. Ow. We're alive, I think. Yuma, are you okay? Actually showing concern? Halara. Yeah. Thanks. You saved me, Halara. Oh, so I I, 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 I did that again. Why, why do I? I, I don't want to be rude, but we are currently holding hands. Did you? Were you made aware of that? Correct. It's all thanks to me. <laughs> money well spent, no? Well, it was a lot of money. Come on! Are you two just gonna keep staring at each other all day? Let's get out of this locked room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's focus. Um, right. He just went, er, oh, he's blushing. So this is the rope ladder in question. It certainly would help you escape. Oh, yeah, it's materialized. Wow, yeah, it's just that simple. Dude. Hey, yo, is this P3? What's going on? Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. The details of the case are still unclear to me. Was this found in the church's incinerator? That's right. It didn't concern me at the time, but it makes sense now. The rope can be folded in the middle, and then the ends can be connected together. I didn't even think about that. I thought just half of the rope was incinerated. Dude. And that's how they made a rope ladder. What makes you so sure it was used here? It lines up with the majority of our evidence. The nail under the window showed signs of friction from a rope and had some yellow fibers on it. A clergy member showed me the rope's burnt remains, and I noticed it was the same yellow color. And there were footprints on the ground below the window of the clock tower, facing the wall. Thinking oh, yeah. about it now, these were clearly signs that someone climbed down the rope ladder and landed there. I didn't think of that. Right. Wait, wasn't the rope ladder hitched on that nail? How did they get it down from the bottom? Oh, because of the way it's made. Right? You could just kind of yank it, yeah? The culprit could have cut it one rung at a time as they descended. Oh! And by the time they reached the bottom... That is so smart! D it would have been one long, single rope, which they could easily pull down. I didn't even think of that. This game is... Dude, these are some crazy mysteries. The window shutters fell due to its weight and locked automatically, completing the locked room. Yep, that's a stellar deduction. Major props. <laughs> yeah, I, I did a great job, didn't I? <laughs> Me for terraining you. Okay. Oh, what now? Hey, we going to the arena? What's up? I, I, I just... The culprit used that rope ladder to escape the clock tower. What of it? <laughs> Back. That doesn't change our verdict at all. The Watchmaker is the culprit! Master, boom kill the mystery phantom blocking your path! Y yeah! Easier said than done. The difficulty increased. I did pick mean difficulty just to remind you. But dog, I 
I get the feeling he's gonna do the, oh, look at that entrance. Yo, these animations. He's gonna be like, hmm, a, wa a watch crafter could easily craft something like a ladder rope. Ridiculous. All right, fear of fire. Oh, the fear of heights. Okay, okay. These deductions of yours are unnecessary. <laughs> it's Sorry. clear who the culprit is. <laughs> the watchmaker was nearby at the time of the crime. The watchmaker was also at the scene. And he had a hammer for the nails. In other words, he committed the crime. Hmm. After committing the crime. Just as you deduced, he created that locked room. And escaped via the rope ladder. But there's a problem. We have testimony that says, yeah, he has a fear of heights. You want to, whoa, who's the, the assisting change? Watchmaker is afraid of heights. He could be lying, but I. Crap! I just he realized. He couldn't even look out the windows as he went up the tower. No way he climbed a rope ladder that high up. So it's impossible for him to have committed the crime. He's not the nail man. I. I don't know if that would hold up in court, Yuma. <laughs> Damn you! Well, we're not in a court. We're in a mystery labyrinth. Okay. Okay. All right, skedaddle. <laughs> they are so. Who is it? It's got to be Dark Applier, you said bro. These mystery phantoms try to cover up the case, right? Yeah. Which means the peacekeeper Seth is trying to do just that. I don't know why, but it's clear the peacekeepers are involved with this case. Perhaps it is connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. All the more reason to seize the truth. Let's go. Right. Jeez, who's the protagonist here? Uh, I don't like to think like that, so, you know, it's a team effort. All right, now what? Uh... By the way, Yuma, about your sword. Does it only work on cues and mystery phantoms? Isn't that the only thing we deal with in here? The solution blade works against anything in the mystery labyrinth. So, don't cut your allies by mistake, Master. Oh, good point. You could have told me that sooner. But doesn't it hurt when, you know, you're, like, exiting your throat? You know what I mean? Can I use that sword? Uh... Oh, so sorry. Only Master is able to use it because he made a pact with yours truly. I feel like she's just making up rules on the spot. Uh, no, no, no. Because he's my property, you're not allowed to touch his things. You may be under the effects of coalescence, but you're just an extra here, Hellara. Hey, okay, she stopped being mean to Yuma, but now it's just like being mean to everybody else. So, no, you can't use the solution blade. I was merely curious. Regardless, it's best I act as support, since I don't have any memories of what happened. Let's return to the case. Assuming the watchmaker isn't the culprit, do you have any notion of who is? Mm. I mean, I have baseless speculation, but... I do. Uh, Halara, during the investigation, you claimed one of the people at the church is the culprit. I think I understand the reason why now. Really? That rope was found inside the incinerator, oh. which only clergy members could access. Yeah. But wait, doesn't that... That rules out Darkoplier, then. But he's there all the time. So maybe a clergy member made a mistake, or he copied a key. That you can't rule that out. In other words, whoever tried to destroy the evidence is a member of the church. <laughs> Prompt yeah. and logical. I am quite impressive. <laughs> you really are, but you're also starting to sound like Shinigami. <laughs> oh no, there's two of them. Oh crap. Wait, you're tooting your own horn? Oh my god. Pop me kettle. I, I love this, but it's just... <laughs> At the same time. Whoa! Okay, this room looks different. I'm a really big fan of Egyptian, you know. I don't think it's kind of call it mythology, but I don't think it's a religion that is believed to be true anymore. Let's just say it's artwork, right? I dig it. So I really like the mystery labyrinths. That's what I'm getting at here. I see. You solve mysteries like this to progress your way through the labyrinth. Wow. You catch on quick. I'm only now getting the hang of things. I may look peculiar at first, but the structure is exceedingly logical. It's easy to understand. Yeah, I bet you feel right at home here. What the heck? Oh, uh, 
Alara, so amazing. I hope these aren't death flags and they just straight up effing die in the labyrinth. That would suck. You know. I wonder what lies ahead. Well? There's always a chest at the end of a labyrinth. I'm sure you'll find some <laughs> treasure. <laughs> I'd rather get information about the case than a chest, a treasure. <laughs> anyway, yeah, let's get the hey, chest a open. Treasure chest. Can I open it? You all wow, she already Check did. It out. A new solution key. We have okay, yeah. Person with access to incinerator. Gosh, we have so many already. I really should whoa. Oh. So the trees are burning down. God, that's such a cool aesthetic. We're back to the original spot. So we cleared the first route. We just need to keep this up and go through each shrine one by one to gather clues about the culprit. Which supposedly leads to solving the real life case. I'm starting to understand how the mystery labyrinth operates. You learn fast. Unlike a certain master I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know I goofed up on the falling part. But... You're so impressed. Why don't you just sign a pact with Halara? Oh. They're having a lover's quarrel. Oh my god. No, come on. You don't mean that, Yuma. You love them. I oh, think. are you sulking? Uh, uh, You're the jealous kind, aren't you? No, I just really want you go out of my life. <laughs> no, I'm not. We're short on time, aren't we? Let's move on. Yeah, this is getting right. a, a little, a little I off. I can't the path. wait to reap the culprit's soul. What do we do next? I'm just going order, I guess. Choose whichever you want. So why not start with the one you're most confident with? Ooh. Okay. Let's see. I like how it's it, it's open like that. That's cool. But I think I will just go in descending order. This is. I'm not trying to. Mm. Man, the train can't even compare. This, this room, this art, this setup. I'm impressed, bro. Truly. Now I think, you know. The third locked room was a murder that happened one month ago in the art gallery storage in Ginma district. Oh, these aren't in order. But what I'm saying is, like, now I think the game is finally in its element. I'm excited. Pictures and paint were scattered all around the spot where a woman was boom killed. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. To be completely honest, this is the most recent thing we discovered and interacted with. And it's also the one I'm struggling the most with. So, from a purely logical standpoint, if this is our biggest obstacle, it'd be smart and, like, to take care of it now, so. Are you going to the third locked room? Yeah, and also I'm too lazy to go talk to the other doll, so let's do it. Yeehaw. Man, I'm really... Because I, I do cut some stuff out of the videos, right? I'm fairly certain I've retained everything that was in that room that was core to the case. Everything else was just kind of like, oh, it's nothing. And just, you know, those get cut, of course. Uh, but. Did we get stuck inside a locked room again? <laughs> be weird if we didn't. This was the corpse that was discovered by that worshiper and the art gallery employee. At the time of discovery, the door was locked and the key was nailed to a doll inside the room. Aside from the door, the only other entrance is the window, but it opens just enough to fit a finger in. The frame itself is too small for even a child to squeeze through. How did the culprit vanish from here? Still got nothing. I true. I've been thinking hard and hard and hard and hard and hard about it. And I got like, you know, started getting headaches. Then I had a yummy supper, and I was like, Herm, okay. Where did the culprit flee from? <laughs> the sky, of course! No. Okay, so let's really break this down. If it's not the front door, I would frankly be shocked. Here. Yes! Okay, nice. Let's go. <laughs> I think the culprit could have only escaped from here, but... Well, that leaves the question of how it got the key under that nail. You know? Hmm. Nothing's happening. Maybe you made a mistake, Master. What? No, that can't be right. It played the flashy animation and everything. It's impossible for anyone to squeeze through that window. They could have only gotten out through the door. I'm sure the culprit had the key and locked the door from the outside after committing the crime. The culprit just used copy of the key? Would that really be considered a locked room mystery? Uh, 
wow, I can't, yeah, I can't say otherwise. They steal, and this was the first murder, right? I'm fairly certain. Well, there are only two keys to the storage space, and the design makes them impossible to oh, duplicate. I, I miss, I misheard about that. I learned that thanks to you, Halara. Whoops, I guess I wasn't paying attention. One of the keys is always carried by that one employee. It was used when the body was first discovered, right? Yeah, there is a separate key. And I don't, when we were interviewing the other employee, I don't recall them mentioning, oh, they lost their key or something, you know? And the only other key was nailed through a doll onto a painting. So we just need to focus on these keys. Yeah. So, it is a locked room mystery, right? Right? Oh, I see. I suppose you could call it that. Hey, Yuma, can you go check outside of that window? Oh, just like before. Before? Yeah, you made me do the same thing in the real world when we were investigating this place. What's with that, what's with that face, though? It's like, I did what? I made you go outside. Look. I see. <laughs> then the answer has already been confirmed. Very well. This locked room is solved. Yeah, there is a solution. We just have to find it again. Huh? Wait, did you already solve this mystery? You haven't? Oh my god. Um, how about you go and check outside the window? Then even you will see. Again? Oh, it unlocked. Looks like you can go outside. I... All right, let's go see. What could it be? I, um... Mm, ah, oh, gee, that... It's not even a scary game, dude. I cannot play horror... Uh, uh, I can never do a horror game on this channel. I'd never live it down. I'd just be screwed. Hey, didn't you already check this in the real world? Why do it again? I don't know. I think Halara just likes teasing me. Halara told me to check it twice. There must be an important clue outside that window. Hey, maybe the culprit threw the key in through the window. And that way, the key would be found inside. They would need unbelievable aim to make it land on the nail, though. I mean, they could just like have it on a rope and chuck it and chuck it and chuck it. but then there would be signs of a rope so it can't be that well how about that theory uh i i, I wasn't even paying attention to you i'll be honest i was thinking of my own <laughs> and we're screwed halar is not what what's this eh is this the storage key which means and uh, in this situation, the storage key, it is shaped like that. This one's a freebie. Uh, I was right. Just toss it in there, master. The culprits threw the key inside? Is that really the right answer? Did the culprit throw the key in from the window? No, bro, there's no way. That doesn't make any sense. Master, yes. Hurry up and throw the key! Is it really that? I, I mean, screw it. I'll hit yes, I guess. This is the answer. What? Oh, it's still coming down. So that was that was that was a Jake. Dog. I should have went with my gut. I'm messing up. So no, it did not. Because that is too inaccurate, and that'd be too obvious. It's it's not a locked room mystery if that would be the case. That's not even a... Yeah, that wouldn't make the nail man happy. You know what I mean? I mean, it would, because they got to kill the right answer? How? Didn't the culprit throw the key in there? That's why the key was found inside, right? No, the crime scene wouldn't end up like that if we threw it in. The key was nailed to a painting. That's not possible if you just throw it into the room. I was, I was thinking, you know, what is that game where it's like the peg and you're at the uh, carnival, right? And you throw the little ring. What is that? What is that? I was thinking maybe it was one of those, but no, I guess. Yeah, it's the nail prevents the key from exiting that painting. Oh, right. Silly me. Whoopsie daisy. But if the culprit didn't throw it in there, how is the key left in the room? Hmm. If you can't nail the key after throwing it. Huh? Hmm? What? Again. Oh, okay. It's... Is that running game again? Wait, was that a hint? 
Was it dropped? What? You're back. Yeah, sorry. Just uh, kind of stumped. The key vanished. Oh. The key is in my hand. What? Master, you got the doll in now! Wait, what is happening? I see. So you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Wait a minute. Is the painting attached to the doll or not? Try it out. Doing so will create a new path. I think it is, right? Yeah. Or did we just I'm assume? Solve this. Okay, okay. I think good I. Good luck, Master. I have a good idea. I think. Let's see how this mini game goes, though. This one is crazy good. Oh, this mystery rules. Okay, recreate the locked room. How so? Gotta think like the culprit, Master. Okay. I will legitimately read this tutorial oh, tomorrow. Suspicious. All right. Let's just have. <laughs> you have to recreate the culprit's locked room mystery. First, do something about that doll. Okay. Well, this was the painting used, so we need that. Or, All right. First, yeah. take the painting. It's like we're making a sandwich. You need, you know, you gotta have that bread. All right. Prop the painting against the wall next to the window. What? Nail the key to the painting. No, nail the doll to the painting. Yeah. The well, culprit nailed the doll onto the painting. Next, both were stood up at a certain location. Wait, what is our clue for that? Wait a second. Oh, you can't check your keys right now. Darn. But yeah, it is adjacent to this window. That's the next step. The painting was stood up facing the window. Oh. Now the part with the pierced doll is right next to the window. Oh my god. After that. I never thought of that. Dude, okay, okay. Um, after that, after that. Sorry, you, I wasn't paying attention. Um, has something to do with the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the culprit went outside. The door was locked, and they went to the other side of the storage room. And they lock it. Whoa. This is bananas. That's all they had to do. I can see the painting and doll through the window, but I can barely fit my hand through the gap. But you, if you would position the nail and the placement of the doll enough where you could put it. Oh my god, that's genius. The doll's genius. got a nail in it, but the problem is that key in your hand, Master. Yeah, the culprit took the key and then... Let's see. Threw it through the window. Nailed. Hung on a nail stuck in the doll. Yeah, it's not actually submerged. It just could look like it. Okay. No. What? Think about the state the corpse was in at the time of discovery. What's a corpse got to do with this? Huh? The key wasn't just hanging on it. What's the next step? The key was not just hanging on the corpse. Oh my god, dude. Yo, I need, I need, I need to update my talent tree. Nailed. I kind of nail stuck to the, Okay. Nailed to the painting with the doll. I guess they do have other nails. The culprit nailed the key to the painting along with the doll from outside the window. Finally. Oh my god. Why did I assume it was just a single nail? Dude. That was so silly of me. Knock the painting towards the room. With a hammer, maybe. And there you go. Job's done. I pushed the painting into the room. That's crazy. Dude, what a good mystery. Oh! It completes the locked room mystery. This is how the culprit did it. That's so simple. Dude. I, I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I feel like that was, yet again, sort of spoon-fed to me, but... That was very satisfying to figure out. My mind, it's just got that, like, it's got that, like, like, does your brain do that? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Do you? Not, do I... It took some time, but you've reached the truth behind this locked room. Throwing the key through the window would be obvious. So to mislead us into thinking that was impossible, the key was nailed to a painting, which was then pushed over. It's one thing for an amateur, but a detective wouldn't be tricked by this. Seriously, only amateurs would get fooled by... Mm. Wait, you mean me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're still trying to help Shinigami, it's okay. Yeah, this is a really extravagant room. Like, is, is it really just to give us the chest? I don't know. Hey, a trash oh, Who's gonna open this one? We should let the meanest one of us open it. Okay, so catty. How did you decide that? I mean, I'm pretty sassy, but I, I'm not in the video game. Like this. Oh, you volunteer. <laughs> I'm the meanest. Let's check out 
this treasure. Huh? What's Anything? wrong? It's empty. What? Huh? Why? After all we went through to solve this locked room. Maybe that locked room truly doesn't give us any new clues. Either that or we were wrong. This must mean solving the third locked room mystery doesn't necessarily bring us any closer to the ultimate truth. Right. It's just, hey, we got out of the room. That's terrible. I suddenly feel so tired. Hey, no, not me. I'm ready to go. We can't call it quits. We gotta keep going. For real. All right. One more. One more. Come on. Ah, crap. Never mind. Uh. Oh, no. Okay. I thought for some reason that was summoning All the right. evil dude. Let's keep going and solve the remaining locked rooms. Dang, this is going to be a small labyrinth then. It's just these four trees? No way. No way, right? But yeah, up next. <laughs> Number two in the forest. <laughs> That's disgusting. The second locked room mystery occurred three months ago in that mansion. Ooh, yeah, we did not have a lot of clues in that mansion. No, that's not true. We had the vent and the, the doll with the messed up eyes. The corpse was inside the study, and the room's key was found underneath the corpse. If you think you're up for it, then let's solve this thing. Hmm. Are you going to the second one? Yeah, 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 just come on, let's go. But yeah, the key is underneath that corpse. We never figured out with the, the omnidirectional blood, which sounds really silly, but I know what I mean. That, that is odd. Could the, mm, you couldn't change the position of the corpse because it is, oh my gosh, this, this one is tough. But with Shinigami and Halara, I mean, we, we probably got this. There are Maybe. dolls nailed across the room. The victim is nailed down in the same manner. And the culprit was also missing from this room? It shares common traits with the other mailman killings. And we're trapped again. Looks like you gotta solve the mystery of this locked room or we're not leaving. That's that's how it goes. I'll try. No. We'll do more than that. We'll succeed, Yuma. Yeah, this one they probably just left the through the door. The door was locked when the corpse was found. And the only key was underneath the body. There are no windows that could have been used to escape. And the vent is too small to fit through. Despite the odd looking books on the you know, bookshelf, it's... Yeah, I just, I, I think it's the door again. So how did the culprit escape from here? Well, it's quite simple, Yuma. They use the drain inside of the fish tank and swam out. No, it's just clearly the, the door. Here. Again, they're all the door. Maybe? Oh, don't say spot. that. To leave the room, the culprit had to have taken this door to the hallway. Huh? There's nothing special about that. But there's no other possibility. There isn't another entrance or exit. But the door itself was locked and the key was found under the corpse, right? After locking it from outside in the hallway, how did the culprit enter the room and put the key under the corpse? I... Yeah, yet again, I just feel like it's a string. But not everything can be solved with a string, you know what I mean? Try it. Everything must be verified. Right. Who was the corpse with the... It, sure. The weird additional... Was it this guy? Who had the secondary line on their on their neck? I thought that was the girl. No, she had the bludgeon. The crime, That's right. The culprit went out to the hallway with the key in hand. They then locked the door. Assuming that's the only way to create this locked room, the problem is... What are you going to do with that key in your hand, Master? Uh... I don't know yet. Don't tell me you still have no idea. I'll figure it out. Don't push me. Uh, hold on. Let me think this over. We should go back inside for now. Wait, really? Uh, okay. Oh, you're joking. No! But, what? Huh? Don't do that! Looks like we're locked out. That's such bullcrap. I guess we have a. Oh, there's a chair. Ooh. Ooh. What is. Which one is this? No, 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 no. What do I do? Wait, 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 wait. Calm down. You just need to solve the mystery. Doing that will open the path. Okay, so we have the doll, that chair. Was the chair. How was, was the chair outside? I guess we only use the forte inside, but... You can do it, can't you? Maybe. Yes, I'll try. Um, 
We have to put the key back in the locked room, right? In that case... Okay, it's one of these again. Because the culprit, what happened to the... The key? Thro they threw it in. That's right. The key could be slid through the gap in the vent cover above the door. Then how does it get in under the corpse? And if they manage to throw the key right under the corpse from here... Would they have that good of aim? No way. That's not good enough. Wait. It... What? It stopped. But nothing happened. The door is still closed. If it was wrong, a trap would have activated. So we're on the right track about the key being thrown in. But then what comes after that? But there's more to it than that. If you simply threw it in, it'd be impossible to position it under the corpse. And they would have to have a mechanism that's outside of this room? You know what I mean? Like, what is... I see. So this is the vital clue for this locked room. I'm beginning to understand what happened here. Oh, Lara, have you already solved the trick to this locked room? I'm getting some deja vu. Like, how do you... Like, like what? how is that possible? You haven't? Oh, my God. Hey, quit playing hard to get and tell us. Oh, oh, or uh, uh, just me. You can whisper it in my ear. What is that pose? If you want information from me, you'll have to pay a fitting price in Xi'an. Of course, I don't work for cheap. You really are a devil. Trying to take money from a death god, huh? The key was definitely tossed inside. But that doesn't explain how it got under the corpse. I'm seriously, I'm trying to think of every possibility. So... How did the culprit pull off that trick after tossing the key in? I don't have any... I can't look at my keys right now, Maybe so. the corpse was moved? That would explain how it was on top of the key. But how could you... Yeah, how could you do that? <laughs> like, really, how could you... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. The neck. The neck. Hold on, give me a second. Yes, yes, it was him. He was the... He was the one with the additional line on his neck. Now hear me out, right? If you, if all the nails inside of the main body were not nailed in, you now have a way to move the torso and potentially move him like a clock. So you throw the key and then position him under it. That's how it happened, dog. I, I'm happy I got that one before they, they get head handed to me. Let's go. How do you move a body from outside a locked room? Oh, this is new. Aww, oh, new song? Blocked off. But the only things here that can block our progress are mysteries, right? Yeah. That's true. So, we just need to solve the mystery. Alright. I mean, I... At least give me a heads up first. It says, how was the corpse moved? The additional wire that I guess they could possess? I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but evidence was left at the scene. Huh? If you look at the evidence, you'll understand what tool the culprit used to pull this off. Tool? That's all the advice I'll provide. You must figure out the rest yourself if you wish to be a true detective. You know, Hellara, uh, time limit? Just saying. I'm not really worried about being a true detective right now. I just like to live another day. Uh, got it. But I... Uh... Got it? <laughs> you just want the mystery solved for you, huh? Yeah. I can tell, because I'm your mentor. So, I'll help you out. Are you ready? You better be. Mm, I'm good. I'm actually pretty confident in this one. Huh? Ready for what? Play it all out faster. Wait. Oh, she's getting naked again? Like, I'm just saying... At least like a different color bikini for every... I'm not a pervert, but you know, I'm just like... You gotta spice it up. What kind of person only has one bathing suit? Will that be the case? Oh, I hope so. Also, can Halara see this? Like, I'm just... I'm just oh, same one. Shucks. I guess it does fit her color scheme the best. But white is good, too. Okay. So what are we dealing with here? Oh, we have to spell it out. Right, right, right. It'll just be rope then, right? Culprit use a what? Bruh. All right, six letter word. Give me a hint. I'm gonna say it starts with R. Nope, okay. S? Okay, 
It starts with S. What sort of marks were on the edge of the doll's eye sockets? Uh. S. Oh, wait. More marks. Okay. What marks were on the, cor the corpse's neck? Sta. Is Stitch a war? I. I can't think of a tool. That starts with ST. Not a handyman. I mean, at this point. Oh my god, we do not have time to keep guessing. Do we even have enough letters for this? Hey, yo, speed it up! This is bull crap! Why is the barrel so slow? What is happening? Excuse me? Did I goof up? What did I do wrong? Oh, wow, I actually just got a game over. If you weren't focused on her bikini, you could solve the puzzle. This is true. This is very true. All right, skills activating. Very cool. Try to solve it. Look at the culprit steps. used a blank to move the body. It could be anything. So we have R. I wish I could speed up the barrel. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that ability. So we have R, we have T, we have S, and it's definitely a tool. We have T. I got nothing! A noose? No. Wait, then that means it does start with S and T. Okay. Str string. It's string. It has to be. That's the... That ain't a tool! You can't buy that at Ace Hardware! You can totally buy that at Ace Hardware, by the way. But, when I think a tool, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking sandpaper, I'm thinking, I'm thinking sander, I'm thinking of industrial level sand. I'm salty. Actually, I'm sandy. But, uh, 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 is that ability even worth it? I got baited by the video game! I have 16 seconds to get the Jeep! Can you speed it up? I got, oh my gosh. Anyway, we did it! It's a string! Programmers? Anybody? Anybody? Where are you guys at? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you effing creepo. Staring at the girl, are we? Uh, girls too charged. I'm not defending. I'm just saying. She, 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 she's really gorgeous to me. That's right. There was evidence of a thin string being used at the scene of the crime. A sturdy and thin string like a fishing line must have been used to move the body. Yeah. I'm... Hey, yo, bring it on. Bring it on. A tiny string could move a whole corpse. Ooh, good point. Because, yeah. You'd have to, like, tie it around his neck a lot. And then you risk untying it. You only get really get, like, one yank. You know what I mean? Before your whole plan falls apart. There he is again! That rude and gloomy guy! Is he gloomy? I mean, he looks pretty fabulous right now. There's a lot of lights on his the RGB. The is wrong. You're wrong? What could be wrong about it? Master sounded really confident just now. But no, there is a huge line of error with the fishing line technique. Listen. The nails in that corpse's leg pierced through his body and into the floor. Which means the corpse was fixed in place. Oh. So how could the corpse be moved? Right, it'd be a different... With my whole, like, clock strategy, and I realized the camera's reversed, so it's not, like, actually... Like, that's clockwise, right? You can't move it that much if you're wait, 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 hold on. Nope, that was stupid. Never mind. I have no idea. Oh, true. <laughs> if the corpse was stuck in place, it'd be impossible to move it. But it's not stuck in place everywhere? Indeed. It would be impossible. Laura, you think so too? So I was wrong the whole time? I... Dude, I thought I had this one. Oh, it's another one of these. No, I'm really bad at this. I'm a little too trigger happy. I know, it causes huh? so much havoc. The door! The truth is slipping further away! Of course it is. Because your deduction is wrong. <laughs> you people. We'll never reach the truth. You people, what? This is the end. Master, let's take him down first. Okay, deal. Y yeah. 
He's just like saying, just th that sound is so tilting. It could be a Vuvuzela, it could be worse. But it's not the one where we're jumping from platform to platform. Fun fact, this used to be a platformer channel. We've come very far. But at the same time, we're back where we started. Okay, focus, focus, mansion. Your deduction the is doll. wrong. Wait, what about the doll? We never Do used that. Do you have any proof that the corpse was moved? The corpse was fixed in place. It didn't move the millimeter. Well, hold on. In fact, that corpse shows no sign it was ever moved. That's wrong. We got it. I. This seems like a long one then, because yeah, what, what's what's going on with the doll? We never figured that. Wait. No, there was evidence the body had been moved. I was thinking the doll eyes might have been used to position the key, but no, it was they were used to position the corpse. But how? The upper and lower parts of the body bled out differently. The blood from the lower body flowed naturally outwards along the body's outline. But blood from the upper body looks like it flowed in a downward direction, toward his hips. So is it propped up by something? If the corpse was motionless on its back, there wouldn't be such unusual blood stains. That's gotta be it. I don't know why, but it... The corpse was propped up. In other words, it's safe to assume the body's position was different from when it was discovered. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Chipotle, bro. That's how I sound, man. I still go, though. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, that's it? That's it? That's all you got? I that. Oh. Okay. What are we doing here? What? That's not what fair. What is this? <laughs> yeah, gross. We gotta hurry and get through that door. Unusual circumstances. It doesn't matter. What was that? Don't tell me scare me. As long as the corpse was pinned to the floor. It's really loud. It couldn't be moved. You can't change the truth. Even this didn't work? Am I just wrong about it all? No, you're correct. The answer you've reached using the evidence is the truth. Alara! <laughs> I forgot you were here! Yay! There's no doubt a fine string was used in this case. Evidence at the crime scene indicate the corpse was moved. So all that remains is to answer, how was the pin body moved? That bizarre bloodstain holds the clue to all of this. The bloodstain? Wait, what? If the bloodstain is the clue for how the body could be moved, even while pinned... Was it... Was it on the ceiling? No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> His body can't be stretched like that. What? I... Oh my god. I know, I'm struggling here. Dude, I... Listen, I, this is a situation. You figured it out. I know, I'm so... I won't let you. This is hard. You know, Johnny, you're like half HP, bro. <laughs> what the heck? Hey, yo. This guy, this guy on fire, though. It's like, oh, what was the position of the corpse? What was the position of the corpse before it was moved? Upper body standing up. Has to be. Oh my god. Yo, yo, this is so cool. Okay. That's right. The corpse was sitting up at first. That's why only the wounds in the upper half of the body bled straight down. Why would why would they even need to do that? That's the part I can't figure out. You know? What was the body used what was used to sit the body up? Purple box, a thin string? Yeah? Uh, I, I'm thinking, yeah. Oh, the doll was used to cut. The, it was used to cut the string. The string I mentioned before was thin but sturdy. But then why was there no string found at the scene of the crime? It was all over the room, holding the body's upper half in place. That's the reason only the corpse's neck had marks on it. Okay, but I, I can't explain why there's no... There's no sign. This is so... I'm, I'm so happy they're being really dynamic with it. All right, what was the corpse lying in the back? Wait, why was the, why was it? It was moved. The string was retrieved. The string was cut. I guess. Oh no. Oh, he dead, bro. You know, it turns out that it wasn't actually that big a deal. I bounced back from that pretty quick. The string was retrieved. Yes, that explains why there is no.
string remaining. But the culprit then retrieved all the string that kept the corpse in place from outside the door. And with nothing to support it, the top half of the corpse fell back to the floor. Yeah. Just like how it was discovered. Right. Man, this one was tough. <laughs> and here I thought it was a, you know, a clock, right? But I forgot about the blood stains. Dude, it's always got a little cocky, I'll admit it. It appears this locked room mystery will finally be solved. I hope so. <laughs> eh? What do we got inside? Oh, it'll just be how it was. No, didn't move at all, actually. Huh? When did that happen? Oh, but now we can set it up. Right. Maybe you're supposed to recreate the locked room in the same way the culprit did. Right. The repeating dialogue a little bit because, you know, I don't know what order you're going to do this. Master, you know the answer, right? Let's finish this. Yeah, for sure. What? I mean, I know the doll is responsible, but the actual steps, I mean, that, that part's going to be a bit tricky for me. Let's you give it our all. You have to create the culprit's locked room mystery. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But what is the first step? Okay, I have a string in my hand, right? And I'm currently inside of the room. So, logically, yeah, the first step would be to tie it to the corpse's neck. Maybe you got the order wrong. Mm -hmm. Stay calm. First, you need to tie the fishing line down. Find a sturdy spot where it can be easily retrieved later. A sturdy spot. Okay, okay. Sturdy spot. It's not the nail, right? What? What is the sturdy thing? Definitely not a desk lamp. There's nothing else in the room. I guess it just has to be the doll, yeah? I mean... Yeah, I'll try it. Yuma, you have to recreate the locked room to prove you solve the mystery. Sorry, sorry. You already know the answer. All that's left is to retrace the steps. Do I? So okay, okay. Trace the steps. I guess it was the most obvious answer. Yeah, you have to, I guess, have it inside here first. First, the okay. knot was tied through a <sighs> slit in the vent. After that, the fishing line was drawn away to another location. In terms of sequence, it'd probably be easier to start with things that are fixed in place. Okay. Fixed in place. Well, we know technically the corpse is not fixed in place, but this doll is not moving. That's it! It passed through a doll's eye! And then the fishing line passed through the eye to somewhere else. The corpse? Is that the right path? Now, let's think about this. You have it going in that direction, and then this direction. Is there anything else? I, I don't think there's anything else in the room. That I, Does this even truly have five steps? Right. The line was then passed around a certain point on the corpse. That was... The neck. Has to be. Under the head. Yeah, under the neck. Here, behind the neck. The line ends here to support it. Now, it's clear that the line passed through the vent, the doll's eye, and ended beneath the neck. Hang on. Why pull the line through the doll first? Can't you just start by pulling it from under the body? Hmm. To support the body's weight, the line is to pass through the doll first, as it was fixed in place. Because it's a pulley system. Dude, that's so smart. What the? Next, the fishing line. Like, you know, I'm not about to get into science, but like... You need a, you need a, so, wait, what did he just say? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I was thinking about science. I should have been thinking about the case. What am I, uh, Shinigami. I can't believe I'm saying this. I need your help. That was the Great worst, work. I guess, ever. You're getting close to completing the locked room mystery. Yeah, but what was I literally supposed to do? Like, I, I swear. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's, let's, uh, let's just think about this logically. Why don't we then take it through the door again? That's, that's another option, right? Now, to return the line to the vent. Whew. This kept the corpse's upper torso in place. The room has been completely prepared. So next... They exited. Yeah. But then they just had to aim near... Ooh. The culprit exited through the door and locked it with the key. And then... They chucked it. But dude, isn't the... Isn't the margin for error there huge? Maybe they're a baseball player and they're really good at throwing things accurately. That reminds me of somebody. Can't put my finger on it. Anyway, the gap. The key was thrown through the gap in the vent. Great story. <laughs> mm 
If the culprit managed to oh. drop the key next to the corpse, the only thing left was to untie the line. Yeah, then, and it, it's only on the side of the vent, so there'd be no line left. But how do they... How do they untie... Oh, they won't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow it now. That's so smart. This game rules! Corpse, which was supported only by the line, would fall face up on top of the key. That's how the culprit created the locked room. That's actually the most satisfying one yet to figure out. Hooray, you did it! <laughs> That's my master! Aw, oh, shucks. Nothing to it. Just, just a little trial and error. A lot of error. But, you know, uh, some, some trials. Uh. The bloodstains were strange. The length of the nails driven into the upper and lower body were different. The nails on the upper half didn't penetrate all the way through the body. But the nails on the lower half went all the way through and into the floor. That was how the lower half could be secured, while the upper half could still be moved around. That sure was tricky, but you managed to solve the mystery behind it. Nothing to it. I mean, I won't even lie. That was genuinely difficult for me anyways. But yeah. In case when we open this chest, it's just like the megaphone nerd again. We're going to end things here. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next time on Master Detective Archive Raincode. I don't know, man. Call me cocky, but we're kind of blazing past this labyrinth. I think we could finish it next time. That's not going to happen. But we'll dive even deeper and seek the truth. So see you then. Bye.